The young couple next door to me have recently made a sex tape. I mean, obviously, they don't know that yet. <laughs> Nice to be back, though. Last time I was in Liverpool, a girl asked me for sex. That's a disappointer. We had sex. <laughs> Couldn't help noticing, uh, you laughing at the idea somebody might have asked me for sex. It wasn't supposed to be the funny bit in that joke, but <laughs> nice to see you again. <laughs> oh, I... Uh, you ever wonder, how, sort of comics, if they pick somebody to aim a joke at, you always pick somebody who looks like sort of nice and friendly and smiley, and that's how you do it. You tend to avoid big, scary-looking guys with shaved head and stuff, because, you know, you don't want to get twatted in the car park after. It's like, <laughs> like, I wouldn't take the piss out of this guy, because look at your arms, you look stronger than a paedophile's password. <laughs> you know, I... I'm trying to learn to be a more sensitive lover. I got a DVD, How to Improve Your Foreplay Technique. It was really good. Had to fast forward through the boring bit at the beginning. <laughs> I found that very dry. <laughs> you don't mind a rude joke here today, do you? That's fucking great. When you get a new car, you're paranoid about scratching it. I parked at Asda. When I came out, there was a big gash on the bonnet. I said, Madam, <laughs> sit on your own. <laughs> I was slightly concerned I'd gone too far too soon with a big gash joke, but actually, as soon as I said, Madam, you all anticipated where that was going. I like that. <laughs> as an audience, hot water, you are dirtier than a Weatherspoon's kitchen. So well done, you. <laughs> I never use that expression in a Weatherspoons, they get cross and you don't get paid. <laughs> so I had a very stressful journey getting here today. All the way, this lorry driver was right up my ass, but it was nice of him to give me a lift. You know. <laughs> so I'll, I'll, I'll tell you a bit about me, shall I? I'm a lot sportier than I might look. That wasn't the entire joke, but thank you. <laughs> In fact, I picked up a little niggle at the gym the other day. I mean, he pronounces it Nigel. <laughs> but still... Still counts. <laughs> I've currently got a stalker, but you probably can't tell in these trousers. Quite horrific, but get away with it, lovely. <laughs> My grief counsellor died recently, but luckily he was so good I didn't give a shit. 